Hey guys, and welcome back to Splatoon. I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and open up Rise of the Octocopters. All right, this is level three. Really weird name. We entered the steaming teapot thing of sorts, the ink pot. And now it's time to take on the third mission. Yeah! All right, hopefully I can find the scroll because that's my goal. Oh, wow, it rhymed too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but... Yeah, so we're back to playing this game. Really freaking fun. I, I really like this game. So, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. I really like the way this level looks. Uh, it's cause it's like really well open. The sun looks like it's starting to set. And, um, you know, we have trees and stuff. I don't know. And I really like the music as well. There's this whole design looks stinking awesome. And here we are introduced to some new mechanics where we have to leap from place to place and do things. Uh, so I haven't played this game in quite a bit. Well, oh, let's be careful. So my controls, my controlling and handling of this game might not be amazing. I haven't been playing games much at all since I moved out of my previous place. But yeah, uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, if you haven't seen it, uh, I'm in a new place, so the video might be a little echoey uh, because, you know, I'm using... I'm in a room that's completely empty. Uh, my monitor is literally on a freaking box that I used to move here with. And I'm sitting on like a patio chair. So yeah, lots of professional, uh, you know, stuff going on here. <laughs> Once I get things in order though, I do really want to show off what I have planned because moving out gave me a lot of space. Um, and I'm super excited to show off the new area I'm in, or at least my new room that I'm gonna have for recording once things are set up, because right now it's totally empty besides boxes and stuff, and I love the color, look at him. Oh, we have our supercharge, oh my god, his hair's on fire! Yeah, this is my favorite color, because, uh, I like the whole blonde look, uh, with this guy. I guess it just kind of reminds me of Link, and on top of that, um, I think that's honestly the only reason. <laughs> to be to be frank with ya, you know, this link is stinking awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump down here. I believe that is where the secret is, so let's go ahead and oh wait. Alright, woo! Was it worth it? No, it was not. I mean this is not really giving me much. Actually it is. Let's go ahead and shoot this and perfect. Alright. So yeah, now let's go ahead and grab the scroll. I Honestly, like, I'm not looking up where to get the scrolls, so I don't know exactly where they all are. I haven't practiced beforehand, but this game, let's be honest, it's actually really stinking simple. So I have a feeling I'll be able to do it with these as long as I can make these jumps properly. There we go. Woo! We got ourselves the next scroll. And I'm going to make sure to read them all once I collect them all. That way I can read them in order, even if... They might be out of context. I don't know how they work, but if they are, I still want to do them in order because I don't want to read them separately. Because uh, if it is some sort of story they want to show off, then I feel like I should just read it all together. So yeah, look forward to that once we collect them all. And hopefully, we'll be able to collect them all with these. If I do happen to skip one, I'll re-enter the level and show off where it is. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to collect as much as I can. So yeah. Also, I need to make sure to grab all these orange thingies, because they're pretty rad. But, yeah, so Splatoon, pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's gotten a lot of new DLC. I feel like the game was far from completed when they released it, and I just, they kind of rushed it. But, I'm glad we're getting DLC. It kind of reminds me of Hyrule Warriors, how they had, like, main characters from the game. Not in the game. It's like they just gave us the game like that. And, to me, that was just unbelievable. I'm like, really? We can't play as, like, Sia and Volga? I don't really care about Wizro, but when the game came out and we couldn't play as those playable characters, it was so upsetting. But now we're, you know, we got them and we got so much more characters, and now we're even getting more characters with Hyrule Legends, uh, you know, being announced and coming soon for the 3DS, and we're gonna get all the characters in that. So I'm excited for that. There we go, the next scroll, done and dunner. This teapot has opened up for the boss, I believe, but I think we can take on a different level before that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my stuff. So what's this? Oh, the hero shot <gasps> increases rate of fire. I don't actually think I need that. I need I need more tanks, so. Yeah, let's upgrade. I like how it just says, yeah. 
And then we'll upgrade this as well, the radius of the splat bombs. All right, and we'll, huh. Unlock the sneakers? Okay, let's just do it. You know what, let's unlock everything. I wanna, I wanna make sure everything hits max level at the end of this. So I'm gonna try my best to unlock everything I can unlock. But I'll save up for the hero shot right now. Actually, you know what, no, we'll keep, we'll unlock this one, then we'll start going for the hero shot. Either way, you can switch bombs from here. Oh, that's what I unlocked? Okay, look at TV, I get it, cool. Just, what do I have to do now? There we go. All right, something else I wanted to do. Um, can I do it here? Upgrade gear, no, sunken scrolls, is that it? I want to see if I can lock the uh, ink color, that way I only use this, but I guess you can't? I don't know. All right, so this is the first level, the first boss level. Um, when I first played this game, which was quite a bit ago, uh, I had a lot of issues finding each level in order. And I want to do them in order, so I'm hoping I'm not skipping one, but I remember it was really annoying trying to find them all. So, we're just gonna assume that the first boss is before the fourth level, and I'm just gonna jump into it. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the first boss. The boss kettle. Um, but yeah, I apologize, I had to cough, so minor cut. If Hopefully I remember to actually edit it out. <laughs> But here we go, so it's time to take on the giant cube, I guess. Huh, what is this? All right, so we got our little light bud bulb thing, whatever they're called. We have to fight a giant octo, which shouldn't come as a surprise since the octopus is the main enemy within this game. But yeah, it has human legs, which I find really weird. I guess the octo, the octos can also transform into humans. Uh, which I find pretty weird, but here we go. Let's go ahead and attack the tentacle and BAM, baby! Woo! Let me just jump out. <laughs> but yeah, this is the whole premise. Uh, runs a lot of sunshine with just the whole uh, in-between cutscenes. Actually, that's Nintendo's thing. Um, every boss has like these little cutscenes in between. And if I get hit, I'm dead. So let's not do that. Alright, so now I gotta be a little more tactical here. Go, 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 go. Ha! And bam! Woo. Yeah, I gotta be careful with uh, the way I attack his side. Like shoot ink on it. I wanna call this guy Box Bob because he reminds me of SpongeBob in a way, but he's a box instead. You know, SpongeBob is a sponge with legs, but he dresses really well though. That's the difference. Woo! Ah! Okay. Do, 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 do. Go 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 go! Ha! Ha! There we go, and bam, baby, we're done. You know the the classic three hit uh, kill for bosses. That's all we need to do. And he did, my friends. He did. I'm pretty sure how bosses work is you just get the scroll automatically. Oh, there it is. Okay, I guess I'm gonna pick it up. Come on, pick it up. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to find it. Which is kind of weird how they just give it to you straight up, but I don't mind. I guess. So there we go! It's a platoon! I don't know why they show off the logo in this victory animation thing, and I'm having trouble speaking for some reason, but there we go. So. We found it. This reminds me of, like, uh, Star Fox. And speaking of Star Fox, we're finally getting a new Star Fox game. So for those who don't know, humongous Star Fox fan. Like,. Star Fox is one of my favorite franchises. Uh, sadly, it's a game I never actually played on my channel, so I feel like I should sometime. And if you guys have any Star Fox games you guys want to recommend for me to play, I definitely will. I've played Adventures, um, the 64 and the remake on the uh, and on uh, the 3DS, uh, and. Uh, there's another one I remember playing, but I forgot what it was. They don't really have that many Star Fox games. Star Fox is a game, like a really good franchise that Nintendo just abandoned, kind of like F-Zero, and now it seems to be Metroid, because I remember Metroid being also, an, uh, dude, Nintendo has a lot of good games. It's crazy to think about, but the only thing that gets treatment is stinking uh, Mario. It's kind of sad. This is level five. I don't want level five. I want level four. So let's find four before we take on five. But yeah. So it's really upsetting. Seven. All right, that's kind of out of it. <laughs> that's a little further away than what I wanted. Um, 
as I was saying though. Yeah, Star Fox, F Zero, and Metroid. This is ridiculous. Where is it? I <laughs> want to take on the fourth level, and I can't even find it. It must be up here. No, this is the boss kettle. Need more zapfish. What, bro? This, this is kind of throwing me off because I don't want to skip any stinking levels. But I want to make sure I take them all on. This is what I meant, by the way. How I remember, like, some of the levels being hard to find. I don't know why they're not just much more open. I think this is my biggest, like, complaint within the game. There we go. Why is four all the way here, but five is there? How does that make any sense? All right, who cares? At least we opened up four, so it's time to take it on. Yeah. Oh, and we got this again. Sweet. All right. Oh, God. This is a dunk. <laughs> this is actually really sick as well. But yeah, back to what I was saying. You know, Nintendo has a lot of amazing IPs, and for some reason, they get no attention now. And it's so upsetting because uh, Metroid, amazing franchise. Oh, jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's be, let's be a little careful here. Uh, let me blast on this so I can get to shade. But yeah, um, you know, there's games like Metroid. Uh, I, I keep mentioning the three titles already, but you guys get my point. You know, they have games like that, but the only attention that Nintendo likes to give is Mario. Not even, I mean, Zelda has, gets some attention because we are still getting other Zelda games. It's like the Zelda games people really want, we're not getting. I honestly will take anything because I want Zelda to open up. I want it to be like Mario. You know how Mario has a thousand different kind of franchises? Uh, you know, it has the sports Mario games, it has the party Mario games, it has the uh, whatever else. There's a lot of Mario games, okay? And to me, that is really awesome. I like that. And I wish Zelda would get the same treatment because I think it's... It's literally Nintendo's second biggest uh, franchise. When you think of Nintendo, you're like Mario, and then you're like Zelda, right? At least that's how I see it. And I guess after that, you'd say... I don't know what else, honestly. I mean, there's obviously the Metroid, freaking Star Fox. There is uh, stinking Yoshi, which I guess now we got to consider that with Mario. Same with DK. All of that stuff is still Mario, so... Yeah, but all that stuff is abandoned anyways. You know, if it's not in Mario, it's not there. I like, though, how they added Link. Like, they finally added Link in a Mario Kart game. I know it's called Mario Kart, but it's so cool how, like, Link is getting that attention, too. I was so happy when I saw that. Like, heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Is, is this really the scroll? Was that the scroll? No. Okay, it's still empty. So it's definitely not the scroll. Let's go ahead and look around here. Might be up here, or maybe I lost it already. Dang it. Or it might be up there. You know what? I bet it's up there. Didn't really hide them that well. At least I want to say so. So, let's figure out. Eh. Eh. Blow up and... Scroll? Yes. Whoa, that was really that easy. Okay. Nice. See, I don't really know where they are. But... It's kind of easy to tell. And there we go. But yeah, I'm so glad that Zelda's starting to get attention. You know, he was... Obviously, Smash Bros. always had him. But he was added in Mario Kart. Uh, he got Hyrule Warriors, which was the Koei Tecmo Dynasty Warriors spin-off for Zelda. Which is such an awesome franchise. I really love it. And I really hope Hyrule Warriors gets something more. I was hoping for Hyrule Warriors 2 instead of or maybe like a new Hyrule Warriors for maybe the next gen c console that's going to come out instead of what we're getting now which is the um this level five let's figure out yeah there it is okay yeah instead of what we're getting now uh and what we're getting now for those who don't know is that weird um is Hyrule Warriors Legends I don't know why I called it weird but I'm not looking forward to it too much and the reason for that is because the game is Hyrule Warriors but just ported it on the 3DS and I know a lot of people are happy for that because not many people own a Wii U and more people own a 3DS I mean obviously 3DS has been sold quite a bit like there's a lot of 3DS's out there a lot of owners for it 
you know, I think it's Nintendo's most sold thing. I'm pretty sure it is, like the 3DS in general, like the whole console. But correct me if I'm wrong, if Nintendo had a bigger selling, like, console. Uh, either way, you know, 3DS players are getting this opportunity. And I like that. I think I like how Nintendo is actually giving us a lot of stuff on the 3DS. The 3DS has a huge variety, a huge library of games. 3DS is hands down my favorite console when I think of, you know, video games. Because that's Fire Emblem, you know, uh, Bravely Default, uh, which to me are awesome RPGs and stuff. And I love how that has that. And then it has, you know, the Mario games, like uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2, um, you know, Super Mario 3D Land. Frickin' Mar the Mario and Luigi game. <laughs> and then it has, what, four Zeldas now? It's gonna have four Zelda games. Uh, the two remakes, uh, A Link Between Worlds, I guess, uh, a third remake now, which is Hyrule Warriors Legends. Also, I just remembered another game is coming out. Another Zelda game, I can't believe I forgot it, but that is, um, Four Swords. Right? Is, I think that's it. Uh, but I think the secret is right here, so I just need to let this guy shrink, and then we're good. Yeah, I can see a box, so I'm just gonna, gonna wait it out. Take your time, man, unless we can jump down here. No. Alright. So, once this goes down, we'll be good. I don't know how much ink it can get. Really? How much ink is it gonna get? Oh, wait, no, you let them hit it! Aha! And then you fall down. Interesting tactic, my friends. I like it. That was a pretty nice strategy. If we killed them, then we wouldn't have been able to get it at all. So it's a good thing I didn't do that. Alright, not bad. But yeah, so that is a total of five Zelda games coming to the 3DS. I mean, I guess if you want to consider Hyrule Warriors. Some people might not consider Hyrule Warriors to be a 3DS Zelda game. Or a just a Zelda game overall. Oh! Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa! We just got splatted! Luckily, I didn't take a full life. That just takes a piece of our heart. Okay, I gotta be extra careful. I didn't really pay much attention. Alright, die, blow, die, die, make the bigger. Actually, we just need to do this one. Right, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my god, that's horrible. And I believe enemies respawn when you do die. Yeah, they do. Alright, we might get a game over. <laughs> I am pretty clumsy. Alright, so. Let's see. Sounds like you said it's real heavy or something. I don't know. But yeah, we're getting Triforce Heroes. That's the game I was trying to think of. Pretty exciting, if you ask. Moi. Uh, a lot of people were upset when they announced that because they're delaying the Zelda Wii U announcements and, you know, we're just not getting that. But I'm fine with it. I'm happy. Nintendo decided to give us that to hold us off. It's definitely holding me up, so. Yeah. Anywho, let's go ahead and jump, jump, this one, jump, and, no wait, oh my god, I didn't shoot any ink there, but we did it, okay, that was close, yeah, <laughs> but there we go, that does it for that level, level 5, we're doing pretty good progress, and we're not having any trouble finding the scrolls, pretty happy with this so far. Alright, I guess I'm gonna end off the episode here, but like I was saying, 3DS, great, you know, console. <laughs> it's really hard to just try to stay on topic with things, but I apologize. I'll get into that uh, next time, I guess, in Splatoon as we continue our adventures. So yeah, I'll talk about where I was going with this, because I forgot where I was going with this, to be completely honest. Uh, anywho, once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed... Be sure to leave a like on this video. Anyways, I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!